Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to determine the parameter and area of compound or composite shape. And this is the first part. In this part, we are going to have rectangles. Let's go over this example right here. Determine the area and parameter of the given picture below. So the figure um, is not drawn to scale. So the first step that we're going to do is to label the measures of all the sides and solve for the parameter. So in this case right here, we have nine. So this side right here is nine. This side is 20. This side is 22. This one is six. Now we are um, missing this side and this side right here so that we can solve for the parameter. So that we go ahead and we remember that this whole thing right here is 22 and this side is 9. So pretty much this side right here would be 22 minus 9. So I'm just going to show the work on the side right here. So that would be 22 minus 9. So I subtract the um, 9 from 22. So this value that we have right here would be 13 because we have 22 minus 9 is 13. So this length from this point all the way to this point right here is 13. Now we're going to determine this side right here. So we know that this whole thing is 20 and we have 6 right here. So that we can go ahead and say that this side can be solved by subtracting 6 from 20. So I'll show the work on the side right here. So that would be 20 minus 6. So 20 minus 6 would be 14. So this side right here is 14. So I'm just going to label that um, um, up here so that we go ahead and determine the parameter for this uh, picture. We remember that parameter is the sum of all the sides around the given figure so that we go ahead and add all of them together. So this is how we're going to show the work. Okay, so what I did was I added all of the sides around the picture. So I added the 9, 20, 22, 6, 13, and 14. And the answer to that would be 84 centimeters. So the parameter of this compound or composite picture is 84 centimeters. So we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to break the compound or composite figure into rectangles and solve for the individual areas of each rectangle and add all the areas to get the total area. So I actually have um, cut this composite picture um, using a piece of paper to better understand this. So we're going to break this, um, again, this total picture that we have there into two pieces. So I will take this one piece right here and I will take this another piece right here. So what I did was I broke it into two um, pieces. So what we do is to label the parts of this um, broken pictures that we have here. So we start with this um, top right here. This is nine centimeters. And then this side right here is 20 centimeters. And so we can go ahead and determine the area for this. We remember that the formula for area is length times width. So we're going to multiply the, um, the length here is nine centimeters and then times 20 centimeters. So multiplying these two together, nine times 20 will give us 180. And then that is centimeters squared. Now let's label the other picture that we have here. So again, this comes from this side right here. So we say that this side right here is six centimeters. And then this side right here on top is 13, which is pretty similar to that of the bottom. So this side is 6, this side is 6, this side is 13, this side is 13. And so we can go ahead and determine the area for this. So again, area is equal to length times width. So our length is 13 centimeters times our width is 6 centimeters. Multiplying 13 times 6 will give us 78 so that we go ahead and write that as 78 centimeters squared so that we go ahead and get the total area. So the total area will be the sum of these two. So that's going to be 180 plus 78. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it down here. So 180 centimeters squared 
plus 78 centimeters squared. So the total area for this would be equal to, if we add these two together, this comes out 258 centimeters squared. This is the area of this composite figure that we have right here. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to label the measures of all the sides and solve for the parameter. So in this case right here, we got 30 on this side. We got 27. We got 11. We got 14. We don't know what this is. And we got, uh, we don't know what this is as well. And we got 11. And we don't know this side. So if we look at this picture here, so these two are just the same. So we can label this as um, 14, um, meters right here. Now we need to determine this side right here. We remember that this is 11 and this is 11 from this end to the other end is 30 because it's pretty much the same thing as that. So 30. So then to solve for this side, go ahead and say that that would be 30 minus 11 minus 11. So we're going to subtract these two 11 from 30. And this is this side right here. So 30 minus 11 minus 11. So pretty much 30 minus 22 is 8. So this side right here or the length for this is 8 meters. And so this side right here is also 27 because it's pretty much the same on the other side. So this is 27 meters right here. So that we go ahead and solve for the parameter. So in order that we can determine the parameter, we're supposed to add all of the measures around this given picture. So I'm just going to show the work on the side right here. Okay, so what I did here was I added all of the sides around this given picture. So 30 plus 27 plus 11 plus 14 plus 8 plus 14 plus 11 plus 27. If we add all of them, this gives us 142 meters. Now we're ready to move on to determining the area for this given um, composite picture. In order that we can do that, we move on to the second step. Break the compound or composite figure into rectangles and solve for the individual areas of each rectangle and add all the areas to get the total area. So what I did was I cut it into um, three uh, pieces or three rectangles here. So this is how it looks like. So we're going to take the um, area for each of these broken pieces and then we add them up together. That would be the total area for this uh, composite picture. So in this um, picture that we have here, we know that this end right here, since it comes from here, that was 11. So I can label here as 11 meters here. And this one right here is 27 meters. So I can go ahead and solve for the area. I'll put that up here. So the area for this first rectangle would be again, area is equal to length times width. So that would be uh, the length here is 11 meters times the width is 27 meters. We multiply these two together. 11 times um, 27 would be 297. The unit for this is meters squared. Now let's have the measures of the other um, rectangle right here. So let's take the third one first. So as you can see here, this is 11 meters right here and this is 27 meters so that we go ahead and put that up here. So they're pretty much the same thing. So I'll show the work on the side here. So the area for this is length times width. So that is 11 meters times 27 meters. If we multiply these two, that is 297 meters squared. Now let's have the measures for this uh, rectangle that's located in the middle. Now notice that our length here is 8 meters. So I can go ahead and label this as 8 meters right here. Now we don't know either of these sides here. We know that that's 8, but we don't know what this side. Now we remember that we can determine this side. We are given 14 here. From this end to the other end is 27. Now since we have 14, so we go ahead and say that this side right here can be solved by subtracting 14 from 27. So I can go ahead and say 40, uh, 
27 minus 14. And so the value for this is 13. So this um, length right here is 13 meters. And it's going to be the same for the other side as well. That's This is also going to be 13. So if you add 13 plus 14 is 27. So that we can go ahead and solve for the area of the one in the middle. So then the area for this would be, again, I'll show the work on the um, side right here. So area is length times width. Our length here is eight meters and our width is 13 meters. Multiplying eight times 13 is 104 meters squared. So to get the total area, so I'm just going to show the work on the uh, bottom right here. So the total area for this composite figure that we have here, if we add these um, three together, that is 698 meters squared. Again, this is total area of this compound picture that we have right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.